In this tutorial, we're going to describe how to define the orientation of your hinge using an offset versus a vector, and we'll explain a few important differences in the behavior of each. Now, in this example, the red is an offset-oriented hinge, and the green is a vector-oriented hinge. So, in this first, notice that we go to the Orient tab, choose point 3D as our type, and now we can choose either a relative or absolute point in space to orient the hinge. And again, in this case, we're using this red X direction for our axis, and we've set an X and Y displacement from this point of one and one. So as expected, it's pointing in that direction, similar to the vector example we had before, that's also pointed in a one-to-one -one direction. Now, notice that in this case, we can set something like a zero Y location reference and notice what happened when I did that. So first, let's go to the hinge parent that is a blank that is the parent of both of these hinges. And I'm just gonna start moving this around. And notice how the orientation of both examples stays the same. So in this case, we are using a relative offset from the hinge origin, and that's describing this displacement here. If we come to the offset hinge and tell it to orient in an absolute position in space, then it's always going to point in this direction. So let's come to the hinge again and start moving this around. Notice what's happening. The offset hinge is now always pointed at this position in space, regardless of where the parent goes and regardless of where the hinge itself is moving. Because look, we've picked zero relative displacement from its own origin. But if we start moving this around too, it's pointing to the absolute position in space. Now again, if you start moving the transform of the hinge itself around, the hinge origin remains here. So any relative displacement is again going to be referenced to this point. So you have to kind of be careful when you're setting relative versus absolute offset directions that it depends on where your hinge is attached, not necessarily where it is relative to the origin of the body itself. So those are some important distinctions between a vector orientation, which is simply a direction and that moves around with the uh, coordinate system that's attached to the hinge versus an offset where you're picking a point in space. And that point can be a relative displacement to the hinge itself, the hinge attachment, or in the absolute coordinate system.